This Q&A video is brought to you by J-Hap Gear. Life's Crusade, dress appropriately. Oh, I got the one? For live. <laughs> Matt so, went to get bug spray and he left us unsupervised with the camera. Yes. So, so we're gonna find something irresponsible to do. Get the camera, watch this. Go for it, go for it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> what else can we do? Oh crap, he's coming. Quick, quick. Hey, hey, hey. I believe we're good. This is 19, isn't it? 19. I, I don't know. Well, we gotta do something special for 20. Oh, you know what we do? I don't know what we gotta do yet. What should we do for episode 20? Let us know. We're still using the bug spray? I feel like, oh, this is awkward. We should spray the comments so they don't get bit no, by the No, please, not the eyes. Anything with the eyes. Okay. Comments are safe. Comments are safe. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to Q&A episode. Sponsored by bug spray. Plug. Okay, can't say the label so I don't have to put a blur over because we're not sponsored by it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> welcome to Q&A episode 19. I'm in a very short chair and, um, Go ahead and ask the question. <laughs> First question comes to us from random person. <laughs> person one. No, it was random person No, 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 one. that's a one month ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn right. it. <laughs> I know. What was your worst injury playing airsoft, not limited to BBs? Okay. Worst injury playing, we'll start from left to right, my left to right. So, Daniel, you go first. What was your worst injury playing? Shoot. Um, I uh, hit my knee really, really hard okay. on a stomp. I was leading a charge because DMR shouldn't lead charge, but I No, DMRs anyway. always should lead charge. Anyway, so, yes, I was leading a charge at DV8, and I ran around this stump or whatever, and then I tripped over it and just, like, <laughs> shot my knee straight into a log, and, yeah, I was limping. That worked out really well, didn't Yeah, it? I got knee pads after that, so. Yeah. so. Then we, we switched over to the built-in ones, too. Yeah. The ones with the built-in pads. Yeah. But. Ones. My worst injury, let me think, um, I burnt... I know Tyler's worst injury, the grenade went off in his hand, he like fractured his finger. Yeah. That was a thunder That's unfortunate. Way. And uh, my worst injury, I think I got burnt. It wasn't bad. Oh yeah, this is a funny story. I think I told this a little bit in a, I kind of alluded to this in a previous Q&A episode. It was. So, you know the pyrotechnic grenades, that they're kind of like the Mark V's, you kind of light them on fire, throw them, they go off. They have a little incendiary to burn them, obviously. And we were inside this building. This dude threw it over like a wall. Um, it was like a built-in, like one of those cardboard walls. Anyway, yeah. so he threw it over. It went off, and it lit a couch on fire. <laughs> I was out, so I'm sitting there going, "Oh, the couch is on fire. This is great. I gotta go put that out real quick." So I tried stamping it out, didn't work. I tried like smothering it with like some other debris that was around there, that didn't work. And I was like, "Okay, I'm wearing a glove. Here's what I'll do really quickly, because it was like underneath the couch. I'll just swipe my hand really quickly because I'm wearing gloves. Okay, it's not gonna do anything. You can like put your hand through fire and like kind of slowly, and it won't burn you. You have to like hold your hand there. So I'm like, oh, I'll be quick on this. And um, I swiped it with my left hand, and I burnt my finger on my left hand because I forgot I cut out the first three fingers on my left glove so I can manipulate mags better. And then I burnt myself because I touched." Oh. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So that was uh, that was uh, probably not my smartest moment, nor my most pleasant. But that's probably what happened. Anyway, Nick, what do you got going? I tend not to do stupid things while we're playing. Um, bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Oh, shoot. Sorry, you got something <clears throat> in your throat there. Anyways, yeah. uh, I almost drowned at Jade Helm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That we, was, we actually all, we all drowned. We all almost drowned at Jade Helm. That doesn't count. That's not an injury. That's just... That was Jade Helm episode one, Into the Swamp. If you guys can want to watch that. Yeah, that was god almighty. And if you haven't noticed, we're, uh, forgot to mention we're in a little outdoor location right now. And it has been raining here for the past, what, three days now? Yeah, that tropical, tropical storm. Tropical yeah. storm came yeah. through. And uh, it is probably about 100% humidity out here. Tropical storm screw you because here. that's what it's been doing. And it's been about 90, what do you think, it's about 88, 85 out here? Uh, hot. Hot, it's hot and humid yeah. and it sucks and... And we're about to do more videos for you guys out here buggy. too, so... Yes. Yeah. It's called dedication. We sacrifice. We sacrifice. Likes button. We bring to you the Q&A videos at all costs. I also had a grenade dropped in my lap. Oh. Back on the injury thing. Oh yeah. By these guys. Yeah. At Iron Horse. Yeah. 
I was on the bottom floor. <laughs> he told me about this. And the cosplayers on the top decided it was a good idea to just start dropping grenades down onto what they thought were UFS players. Mm -hmm. But it was me. That hurt. That was great. Enough said. Oh yeah, I and think then we my get ear frick. injuries constantly. Oh from, yeah, no, we've probably uh, had like some sort of hearing loss. It feels really awful. Well, I'm in a uh, really low chair. Yeah, by the way, Revention, Revention opened up. Um, he's our one of our buddies. But he mm -hmm. uh, he uploaded a um, a video from their perspective. But I had gotten out mm -hmm. on uh, at Overwatch beta, and so I was on laying on the ground. And for whatever reason, the tan team decided that they were going to throw more grenades at the dead guy. <laughs> so they threw about. Four of those flashbangs, like those MKT, and they're and loud. They're and if loud. you're on the inside of those buildings, it, so they like, just destroys. kept chucking them at me. And yeah, that one uh, I couldn't hear after that. So yeah, we probably suffered hearing loss, burns, fractures, um, stuff like that. Tyler, is the only fracture. But anyway, next question. Uh, you go next. Yeah. Okey doke, smoky poke. Mm -hmm. Say, Dylan Z asks, who is the sexiest in the group? Me. Next question. I'd rather uh, beard. I'd I'd rather disagree. Yeah. I have the operator beard. You want to leave this one in the comment section? That's kind of weird, but... Uh, no, 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 it doesn't have to be weird. Just tell us, like, from a other individual's perspective, which one of us is the most likely to acquire a female companion? Let's put it that way. Sound good? Sound good. Nick, next question. That's not fair. <laughs> like, I, just, fair. I have a history to prove it, so it's okay. Put the question away before you get carried away. Oh, okay. That's a leftover. What's your favorite event you've been to? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is one. Well. Jade Helm Pushback. Jade Helm Pushback was pretty good. Uh, I like. I, I like think we accidentally Iron answered this question before. The, the yeah. question reads, what's your favorite event you've been to? Yeah. Um, this was the last Q&A. Yeah, we accidentally... Yeah. We'll Daniel, didn't answer, so yeah. Daniel, yeah, Daniel yeah. didn't answer it. Yeah, Daniel didn't answer it. That's a so, good point. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was definitely Iron Horse. I had so much fun at Iron Horse mm -hmm. because um, in a lot of a lot of different uh, events, they are, they kind of... They'll tend to drag on for a lot of a lot of portions of it. Yes, they're fun. Like, don't get me wrong. Like Jade Helm was amazing, but well, we're first of all, I spent about two hours captured. <laughs> and he tried to escape. And too. I tried to escape yeah. into like six guys, but I, I had a whole fire base against me, yeah. so there wasn't. It didn't work out. So it was well. fun though. I got to shoot a guy point blank. A few times. <laughs> but so um, there are no rules. In the game. Yeah, pretty no much. Rules. That but is pretty much the summary of the game. Jade Helm was rules. fun. Um, but my favorite was Iron Horse just because of the gameplay. How how uh, extensive it was! So many people there. Oh, lots of targets so down. Many. Lots of tangos to shoot. So we still got more footage coming from that soon. So stay yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, uh, you answered the last one, right? Well, you pulled it. Sure. Let's technically answer one. Oh. Next question comes to us from Two Wrecked. I went on Evike, but I don't know um, what the really good brands are for a starter airsoft. Or please give me suggestions. Okay. Um, I really need to make a video about this. So, good starter air softer um, brands. Um, I'm going to be making here pretty soon a um, beginner airsoft guide one-on-one, -on -one, so I'll be answering a lot of these questions in there, because like, these are easily the most frequent questions I get from like beginner airsofters like you, and I'd like to make a video on how to explain how to get into everything, and brands, equipment, um, gameplay rules, etc. Brands that we all like. One we can unanimously say is G and G. Yeah. G and G makes for solid, guns, yeah. yeah, for good starter guns. They make good, like I'd say even like guns I'd be willing to use still. They make solid, solid, solid. I swear, guns. for as much as we shout them out, we really need to be sponsored by G. &G. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think so. Um, yeah, no, G and G. You're a, welcome, G and G. You're pretty much right. Yeah. Jeez. I love them though. We've been yeah. using them for years. Um, they have a very like, good reputation. Uh, accessories, mags, etc. Et oh yeah. Even the guns, everything. I mean, they're they're a good standard for mm -hmm. quality. Oh yeah. Very good, and they're out of Taiwan, mm -hmm. I believe. But, Taiwan, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they um, they make probably the most diverse group of guns on the market. Like you've seen F2000s, L85s, like all the weird guns you've probably seen that are like you know not M4s. Probably a G and G yeah. gun. Odds are it might be a G and G gun because they make so many. And if they want to get really crazy, go with S and T because they all make all the nuts of stuff. I haven't really seen too much you know, on S and T actually. Uh, like the PPSH 41. Oh, really? I believe they made. I th I think they made a Mosin. I think <laughs> I'm, I've never seen one, I don't think. Really? No, really. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, so continuing on, um, VFC, um, they're kind of expensive, but they're, they're very good. Nick, Dan, he does, like Dan, Danny will not agree with me on the VFC scars, but we won't talk about the VFC scars. Okay. We'll talk about the 416s they make, the okay. M4s they make, the external quality on them is absolutely fantastic, mm -hmm. so that's a good brand to go with. Um, 
Let's talk about KWA. They make very good gas blowback pistols. Yeah. Elite Force, fantastic BBs, um, fantastic um, sidearms. We yeah, all, all uh, handguns. Use... No, not that one. That one is the, the, the that one. one's the really, really bad handgun. We won't talk about that. We won't talk about that brand. We're not going to barrel balls out of that one. Yeah, that's yeah. A, what's a bad. But everybody would pretty much unanimously agree. Anyone who's ever owned one of these, you don't want that one. Right. This is the one you want. Mm -hmm. This is the gold standard for 1911. If you want Elite like a Force, really good yeah. one, the Elite Force are solid. I mean, like there's other good ones out there. Don't get me wrong, but this one, like, no problems with it. Probably has one of the best track records out there. Yeah, that's about as much as it's that's worth. pretty much. Well, about it doesn't work important. anymore. It so. does. <laughs> it literally it just broke in every single. It's basically falling apart the seams at this point. I'm surprised it didn't actually explode when it hit the ground at this point. Anyway, we didn't um, see anything. Now we have there's other good good uh, good brands out there that we haven't really had time to experiment with. But a couple other ones on the top of my head that I can think of that are pretty good would be hmm, GMP. Um, GMP is fantastic. Yeah. A lot of GMP is like top of the line. Yeah. When you're when you're talking, when you have more money to put forward and you want to build your own, definitely go with GMP. Because they're they, parts they make so the best receivers. Compatible. They're yeah, they're compatible. Everything is in spec. Mm -hmm. It's like um, for example, my rifle that I have, the DMR. GMP. Completely GMP. His gun, GMP. Um, my gun, GMP. All of our yeah. AEGs at this point that we use are pretty much GMP. I think with yeah. the exception of JoJo. I'm building one for, but I'm building one for them pretty soon for both Tyler and JoJo, and they're both going to be based off of GMP receivers. Exactly. So. And see, mine even apparently passed the military standard, standard because from what I've been told, uh, the guy who gave me the GMP, because I had it given to me, it was kind of broken, um, but when he gave it to me, it had been used a lot by the military for whatever, training, examples, blah, blah, blah. Internals were shredded. For whatever, yeah, internals were shredded. I mean, the whole inside of the gun was screwed up. But for the military to want to use it, yeah, it's a good gun, so. Um, I think it's about it. Um, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of other good, great brands out there, but I think the couple we named off of are really good starting and points. I, also, Elite Force, as far as their uh, their rifles go, yeah, they make. I'm pretty good sure they make good, like the yeah. four CRS or something. They like that. make yeah, four CRS is a actually very popular rifle, yeah. and they're very I think good Jet quality. uses that one. But he does actually very frequently. He talks about that. I think he's like a lot of his. Um, they have good trigger response. Like, I fired the trigger on a four CRS, and they're very uh, they're, they're very snappy. They are. like that, and that's right out of the box. True. All right, next question. Your turn. Uh, Jackman Josh the AK Man. <laughs> AKs are cool. I just got one. You by just the way. got an AK. It's a Stava MPAP. It. Yeah, it's a, it's a Stava MPAP uh, M70, mm. and that thing is quality. It's pretty cool. Um, what was it like getting to work with Jed at Operation Iron Horse? He got us all killed. <laughs> you said that last Q and A. Multiple times. Um, but Jet, it was really cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy. <laughs> uh, Jet really knows what he's doing. Uh, he's a good leader. Uh, and speak for yourself on that one. I actually survived. Until he I, did survive. I was with Aaliyah the after that, and then we pushed a trash can out into the middle of the street, and I was going like this. I almost got all the way down the street. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That was fun. I have. The, I, I got to put that in the funny moments and fails for the next episode. I forgot about that. That was actually pretty funny. He's pushing a garbage can down the alleyway yeah. of the street. Because Aaliyah, uh, I mean, Aaliyah being this responsible one, yeah. he's like, <laughs> they said that we shouldn't move some furniture and stuff. I don't know. I'm like, well... It'll be illegal in the game if they tell me it is. Yeah. I, go, I go up the door with this trash can and I'm pushing it down the street. There's, there's an LMG on the other side of the street that was pinning everyone down. Oh I just hear <laughs> the trash can is getting lit up. Yeah. And then one sneaks through and like nails your leg. Yeah, it like, got me in like in the ankle or something. And technically, a trash can is not furniture. It's a trash can. Exactly. It's a movable. It had wheels. It was meant to be movable. Technicality. So it was a technical. Technicality. Exactly. It was a tank. I'd support the claim. Yeah. <laughs> the hilarious thing though was hearing the guy behind the LMG. There's a freaking guy with a trash can down the street. <laughs> they were so pissed. It was great. As they well should have been. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, back to the uh, yeah original question. <laughs> <Should> <laughs> we, we get such a uh, Yeah, no, uh, it was fun playing with them. I think one of these days, if we can, if we're able to, maybe we go out to these events, we should have them on the show. I think it'd be kind of fun to have. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, um, yeah no, he's that's a good cool. guy. Um, fun to play with. Um, we have... Yeah, that's and all congratulations like on his new. Uh, oh yeah, like, yeah. If you guys haven't been following him on Instagram, so. he just got married. So give him some support on that. That's oh, yeah, pretty legit. I knew it was coming, but <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I think everyone knew it was yeah. coming for yeah. a little while there, but that's still pretty awesome. Thumbs up. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, next question. I think it's my turn. I'm pretty sure it was my turn, but go ahead. Was it your turn? Here you, go. you can oh. answer it. I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last one. Gamer of gamers. That's Quality quite a gamer. That, that's quite a claim right there. Yeah. For one, um, 
But it's cool. Yeah, Gamer of Gamers, 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 Gamers asks, whatever happened to the DV8 field? I think he's referring to like the remodeling they're doing. The fire base is gone as of when we last played there. Which was in the 20th of May. Something along those lines. We, the fire base is gone. Demolished. Level there's, to the just, there's dirt mounds. It's a with pile the tower. of dirt, and I do not like it. Well, Nick likes the dirt. He will defend the dirt pile until the day he dies. Because I don't know why he's really such in favor of this there's dirt a pile. You have ADD so bad. It's a CRJ 700. That's made by Bob here, by the way. <laughs> Nerd. BB-8. I don't defend the dirt pile. Yes, you have! For like the past three months. The dirt like, pile. Oh, it's not that bad. It adds extensive gameplay. And it's diff It's a mound of dirt, Nick. It's a pile of sand from the earth, okay? It is useless. I'm sorry. It's, it's southern just dirt. Well, it's, it's, southern southern dirt. It, it's Dixie dirt, but yeah. it's not... It's not... Did you think it was sand from Mars? Yes, I thought it was sand from Mars. Of course it's sand from Earth. Of course it's sand from Earth. You're yeah. short, quiet. It's, I'm not complaining. Of, the firebase was cooler than the dirt pile. But the dirt pile is just different. And they're going to build, they say they're going to turn the dirt pile into another firebase. And, and they, they did get rid of the firebase for now. They're going to re, they're gonna renovate. But they also did just purchase a ton of home Oh, they did. they did. That was cool. So, so yeah, I'd say that's a pretty fair trade-off. I'll least trade the, a dirt pile for, for home In an upcoming video. Yeah, that's true. Alright, fine. Upcoming so, video? Upcoming video. I don't know if it'll be posted before or after this Q&A video. I haven't decided on that yet. But we have a really, really cool video from DV8 coming out that me and Nick went to. If you guys remember the videos, if you guys have been subscribers to the channel for a while, or perhaps you've just seen We've some of our videos. We've done convoy videos before. Yeah. We've done convoy videos in the past at DV8 where they had tanks and all the trucks and all the Humvees. And they'd bring along a course and we'd have to defend them or attack them. They brought those back and we're doing them again and we have footage from that coming up very soon or it's already been posted either way. It's, it'll be called, I think it'll be DV8 Part 22, I think. So if you want to look for that, look for DV8 Part 22 if you can't find it. Tagging grenades and we polar fire. stars. Tagging grenades, and explosive tanks. rounds, tanks, escorts, jungle combat, the whole kit and caboodle. It's going to be so So what cool. happens when we get like to uh, DV8 like level 100 or something? Do we prestige or... I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Um, we're only at, it took us four years to get to 22, I think. So, so judging by another, that rate... We're need another 16 years. <laughs> considering the rate that we go there, um, in comparison to like some when we used to go there isn't as high, I just estimate we'll be at part 100 by the time we're in our mid-60s. By then, I'm if sure DVA all of us will be dead. still be there. Yeah, that's a fair assumption. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to argue with that. We may have killed each other by that point. Hey, look, a button! It's like, what does this do? Oh, look, we just nuked the planet. Daniel? That's only if one of us becomes president. Look. Can I'm I sure at least, finds... like, nuke? So when I run other for president countries. in, like, 30 years, do not reference this video. Because I am not actually planning on blowing up the planet. Oh, you totally want to blow up the planet. Jeez. All right, I think that'll about do it. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a comment in this comment section down below, and we will, uh, potential for answer, we'll throw it up in our question and ammo box, throw it on the next show, and answer it on camera in front of you in full glory of all of our stupidity and limited knowledge on Airsoft. So, no. They can't see me. It's like tactic camera. Tactic remember camera. that? We need to stop the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching.